The ground is soft over here. It was frozen back there in the trees. It's starting to thaw out here a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit off here. It sounds kind of junky. It just sounds kind of weird. I was in, uh, I had my ground stabilizer at one there for a couple minutes, but was not able to do that. It's just, the ground is just too hot here. It's just jumping around a lot. It was hard to pinpoint my targets. The ground st stabilizer at one. I bump it up to two here. You know what I'm saying? It's a po tab right there. Probably on its edge. It was so far off my pinpoint there. Right there, it's coin. <laughs> Nails here. Nail right there. But, uh, yeah. Iron. It could be foil too. I am discriminated up to 50 here. Five zero. Jim got a ring. Leave my shovel back there, right at that, that target there. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Ring's up like 40 or something. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, what is it? It's gold, dude. No, it ain't. In 40? Oh, no, not 40. Or like 40, yeah. What's your house? I, I don't know what numbers it is. 80, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, if it's 40, it's brass or copper. I think it's just copper wire, yeah. It's, it's copper, yeah. Still the ring. If it's reading that, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Freaking already, dude. In the morning, man. Our first our first uh, sight, Jim popped the ring out, big time. We went through the tot lot over there and we didn't find anything in the tot lot. The last time we were in this park, Jim found two pieces of gold in the tot lot. He found a gold pendant, a uh, 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 mother, something i don't know what it's gold and then he found a gold ring but we're we're finding a few targets out here in the in the grass the top lot was barren no targets in the top lot and the top lot was pretty big we spent about 15 minutes on it we only got like two targets out the whole time two targets out in 15 minutes top lot, so some foil there. There's a foil. That that ring that Jim Jim just found was in the penny range, right? The zinc penny range, right? A lot of foil over here, right? See, there's some foil right there on the surface. I can see it watch discriminate down to 20 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 9 it's beginning a lot of foil if I discriminate that low right I do not want to dig out anything below like 35 or so right but um if I'm discriminated to 50, listen to me here on this. If I discriminate to 50, those rings or that jewelry are gonna be a really loud reject tone. So I'll investigate that. I'll look at that really loud reject tone. So I'll discriminate to 50 here. It'll be a banging reject tone, those bracelets or necklaces right on the surface. 
and I'll look at my numbers if I get a really loud reject. But I'm really not going for, for bracelets or necklaces usually. That's why I'm discriminating up a little bit higher here. If I'm in iron, I'm going to discriminate really low because I want to get all the non-ferrous targets out of there, right? My auto response is at one here. This one's a little bit off the side here, probably on this edge too. Right there, right there on this edge. It's a coin right there. I'm wasted. Wasted coin, man. Just goner. Not on this edge. Jim smacked the ring out already, man. Yeah, dude. Free on. This is a junky target. So when my auto response is at one, I can tell, I can totally tell how deep the targets are, All right? If you are struggling with the Deus 2, um, a very common occurrence that I see with people who are struggling with their Deus 2 the most, their odd response is way too high, right? If you have your odd response way high, you are not going to be able to tell how deep that target is, right? The more experience that I'm getting with the Deus 2, the more I'm, the lower I'm going with the odd response, right? And the, the more targets I'm digging out, because I can dig them out faster, right? There's a coin right there. A dime right there. You're not gonna go any deeper with an odd response at five, right? You're not gonna go, you're, the detector's not going to get, go deeper with the high auto response. Just that's not the case. All right. Two targets right here. Beep 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 beep. Beep beep. Really fast. Put the stuff back in there and see where this other target's at. It's probably about two, three inches away from it. Yeah, it, it was. It's over here. That first, that first coin was right there, and this other target's right here. Another coin right there. And also, if you have a high auto response, these targets right here will sound like one target because it overloads the machine, right? It's an amplifier and it amplifies that signal in the ground there. And it really sounds like one signal. You know, you, you can wash out those, those um, targets next to each other and make them sound like one if you have too high of an auto response or too low of a recovery reactivity speed, right? In my soil here, the higher reactivity is actually deeper, right? You're not going to penetrate through my minerals on my ground with a low auto response or with a low reactivity. Volunteer fire department. We're in a very small town, so. You know what I'm saying? Whee! Jim's telling me to come over there. You got some more jewelry? What the heck is this? It's Mexican. Is it? Or no, it's Chinese. It's Chinese, dude. Is it? Yeah. 
Chinese coin, man. Yeah. I told you, it's, it's got a circle coin. with four squares on the yeah. edge of it. They find old coins here. And it has a dragon. It has a dragon on we'll it. We'll check it out later. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out later. It's a Chinese coin. Yeah, it's not super old. But not too old? It's not, yeah, it's not really old. There we go. Oh, I dug off the side there. Yeah, I dug off the side. It's over here. Over towards me, right here. No, nope, it's over there. It's totally the opposite side there. It's right there, it's a pull tab on its edge. Huh? 